What's up guys, I'm Josh Washburn of Washburn Fabco and today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust drive roll tension on a MIG welder. The machine I'm using today is an Art Captain MIG 200. If you haven't heard of Art Captain, they're a relatively new brand. I just did a full in-depth review and they're also having a really good sale going on right now. They have $100 off plus I have a coupon code, Washburn Fabco at checkout. The link for all of that will be in the description. Drive roll tension is a very important factor when setting up a MIG machine. You could have a lot of wire feed issues if you don't have your tension set properly. If you follow along with all the steps of this tutorial on your MIG machine and you are still having wire feeding issues, and no matter how tight you adjust in your tensioner, the machine's still slipping and the wire's not feeding properly, you may have an issue with your liner. If you're really new to welding and you don't know what a liner is, this is a liner. It runs down the inside of your MIG whip to help guide your wire. And over time, you're going to have dirt and dust from your wire accumulate on the inside of here, and it will keep it from feeding properly. So this is what we're going to be looking at here today. On the inside of your machine, you should find a section where you have a drive roll. And above that drive roll, there's going to be a bearing. The drive roll tension is how hard that bearing is pushing against that drive roll, and it is adjusted by this knob right here. It's going to look relatively similar no matter what kind of machine you're on. It's all set up pretty close to the same. One thing to look for if you're having wire feed issues is take your drive roll completely out. Make sure and verify that it's the right drive roll for the right wire you're using. Here's a drive roll out of a different machine. Over time, the drive rolls are going to get dirty as well. So what you're going to want to do is lightly take a wire brush and run it down the seam of this. Um, nothing too crazy. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. So for demonstration purposes on this video, I'm going to completely loosen this tension right here and start from it at nothing. You're going to want to set your wire feed speed pretty low so you're not wasting a lot of wire with this. Uh, do not turn your gas on. There's no reason to waste your gas. And do not have your work clamp ground attached to the surface that you're going to be working on. So to do this, we're going to hold the torch at a low angle here, pull the trigger, and we're gonna slowly work our way up to 90 degrees to the table. And at 90 degrees to the table, we want the drive roll to slip intentionally. So let's see where we're at right now. Not feeding at all. Completely loosened. Let's get it tight. Try it again. It's feeding, feeding, slowing down, spinning. Tighten it up. Still needs to be tightened some more. And that's about right, right there. So to wrap this up, the main things to check when your wire isn't feeding properly. No brainer number one, check your contact tip. Contact tips good or new, check your drive roll tension and your drive roll cleanliness. If neither of those are the problem, probably think about getting a liner. I hope this video helps you out if you were having some wire feeding issues. This is all very basic beginner stuff that you need to know if you're going to be running a MIG welder. If this video helped you out in any way, like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more how-tos or equipment reviews, drop me a comment on what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.